Yes, uh, Charlize. So I was interested in this movie for all the obvious reasons because I used to work at Fox and I was there during that time. Um, there's an innate distrust between, I think, most conservatives, but particularly conservative women in Hollywood. Mm -hmm. um, what was it like being in the mindset and playing a character of a conservative woman? And did you have any new reactions or impressions of what it's like to... I used to worship Megyn Kelly. I want, early on in her career, I don't anymore. I used to want to be her. And so I just want to know playing her and going through all this, do you have any impressions of what it's like to be, you know, conservative firebrand like she was? It's a, it's a really interesting question because I, I'm obviously not a conservative. And it's interesting when you take a story on like this that there's this instant kind of like, uh, well, what would a liberal know about doing this? Mm -hmm. And like, there's gonna be some agenda behind it. And the first thing that became so clear to me is that when it, we're talking about sexual harassment, it's a nonpartisan issue. Like, right. it wasn't important for me totally. to be, so we weren't telling a political story, so I didn't have to like be politically accurate with everything that she's, obviously she had said things. We wanted to be as accurate about what the news stories were in that mm -hmm. period. And obviously she had said, said some very- um, Provocative things. Incendiary, Provocative yeah. things, yes. And, and we felt like it was important to, you know, to just be truthful about that and to not hit it over the head. But we have screens that would, you know, show some of those news stories and stuff. But outside of knowing her as a conservative woman, woman, what I was shocked to kind of realize through my research was that she's a woman that I didn't think I had anything in common with. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And I learned that I had so much in common with her mm -hmm. because she is somebody who's incredibly ambitious. She wants to be really good at her job. Yeah. She's worked incredibly hard to get where she was. And when this thing happened, she was at the top, the pinnacle of her career. She was negotiating one of the biggest contracts mm -hmm. at Fox mm -hmm. and stepping forward to her, I think, meant two things, that she was weak, that she didn't want to be defined by this thing. She had worked so hard to be this incredible journalist and, and that she might lose everything. And that's something that women who are victims of sexual harassment face every single day. Mm -hmm. The risk of what they're going to lose is so great. And this idea yeah. that when people say to me, like, why do you believe women so easily? Women have nothing to gain. Mm -hmm. If you look, yeah. look back, women are the ones who lose everything. Most of the women at Fox never worked at, in broadcasting again. Mm -hmm. yes. They were yeah. ostracized. They're punished. Yeah. They're punished. Mm -hmm. While the men went on to, you know, Shine got a job in the White House. Mm -hmm. The settlement between uh, O'Reilly and, and Ailes didn't even match. Yeah. Uh, I mean, they're... they're um, the uh, comparison. Exactly. Yeah. 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 So I just, that was the moment where I realized, what, wow, like, I know that feeling of being ambitious and wanting to be great and also that feeling where those things are can be turned around and be weaponized against you yeah. right. as a woman. Like when you're a guy and you're ambitious, it's great. When yeah. you're a woman sometimes, not so great. It well, can be turned around yeah, and be right. used as a negative. And yeah. so in that sense, I really related to her as a woman. We love wow. having you. You have to come back. It's just great. I talk to you. No, you don't. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our thanks to Charlize great. Theron. Yeah. Bombshell is in select theaters now and nationwide on Friday. Do yourself a favor. Go yeah. see it. I think you'll be really, it's a good eye-opener.